Hi everyone, Morgan here, and it's time to talk about the bathroom. It's so taboo. Nobody wants to talk about it, and I get it. It's like gross. It's a gross thing that we do, but like we should be able to talk about going to the bathroom, especially when it comes to an emergency or disaster situation where, yes, a toilet might still work if you put water in the back tank of a toilet. However, my issue with that is wasting water in the back, in, in your tank of your toilet when you could be using that water for like a million other better things, right? I'm personally not a fan of wasting water going to the bathroom. I had a composting toilet for about two years in our RV and when we lived off grid, I loved it. We had an outhouse when we were in Alaska. I absolutely love the composting toilet. Being with like a modern flushing toilet now, like I hate it. I hate, I hate the, the waste of water. I hate that we use water to flush. Like I just like, I hate it. I love composting toilets. It's so efficient. So anyway, I think that the five gallon bucket is a really smart thing to have on hand. Um, whether it's for camping purposes like off-roading or whether it's um, for really anything else so whether you're off-grid whether you're urban suburban I think it's a good idea to have something like this in you know in your back pocket if you're not if you can't invest in a full-on composting toilet right now or maybe you're just not into that and you want a regular flushing toilet and then the five gallon bucket's going to be for emergency purposes only that's cool by me whatever works for you well this is a toilet seat that i got off of amazon and you can also get these from walmart or anywhere i'm going to give a couple options down below but this just fits on the top you want to secure it secure it on so it doesn't like go flying around but there you go it's secured on you want to always make sure that you are closing the lid to keep flies and bugs and everything out it actually has a snap up top so make sure that you tell everybody you know to actually snap it closed because otherwise it'll be just kind of open and flies and things can still get in you do not want your fly you do not want flies or any other bugs to be able to access uh what what's in there now, before you actually put it on, you are going to want to take some sort of bag. It, this bag came with it, and this already has like some decomposting powder in here already, but you can use a trash bag, really anything. You can use um, contractor bags, you know, whatever you want, but this just goes in here, and then you stick the lid on. There you go. It takes very little effort. Bada boom, bada bing, you have your emergency toilet. <laughs> in Alaska, we were using sphagnum moss. In um, in the desert, I could have used, uh, you know, you can use leaves, you can use uh, hay, you know, just really grind up that hay and really, you know, pull the sphagnum moss and stuff apart. You can use almost any substrate that you want. And substrate is just something that when you go to the bathroom, you just put that substrate right on top of it. And that's it. Some people just have like a bucket of um, soil, you know, dirt, literal dirt. You can just use dirt if you want. In this sort of system, you don't have to mix it around or anything like that. You can think of this system like an outhouse where you just kind of go to the bathroom. Now, if you want to add the substrate, that's fine. If you don't, that's okay too. I would probably be changing this out, um, you know, depending on the size of your family and things every week if not more often, depending on the size of your family, you know, and, and uh, how often everybody goes to the bathroom. And, or there's lots of things that are like made for RVs and things that you could actually use in here as well to help the decomposing process. And with this, you may want to also consider using those RV type um, toilet papers, or you can just use regular toilet paper or whatever, but the RV ones um, disintegrate better. Uh, but you know, your regular toilet paper in this instance, it'll probably be fine because it's all contained within this bag. Thanks so much for watching. Conquer and I hurry today. You think I have a shot as a ventriloquist? Don't quit your day job. Okay. Bye.